Please do subscribe to my channel by clicking on that subscribe button and please also don't forget to hit that notification bell icon to be the first one to receive the updates on this channel. Hey on guys, Janus here and today I'm bringing this video to you guys on about the new mass invasion that has recently arrived in the air of light. And this is so good guys, the light Griselda. Yes, so she is gonna be here starting today. That would be uh, May 16. Yes, that would be May 16, right? Yes, till the May 18. So for like a total of three days, it's gonna be here. Three days or four days? I think that's, that's three days, yes. So event period are based on the server time. And then uh, notice for the Griselda invasion, at least one mana should be open for the mass invasion to occur. So uh, yes, obviously like you should be able to uh, complete one mana, okay, if you are a beginner. Uh, mana are the ones that are the tiles with some like flag on it. And if you clear it or if you open it, then yes, you will be able to access the mass invasion. And in this mass invasion, you can actually get a lot of the shards of the, uh, you know, like jet indicated servant and in this time uh the indicated servant is obviously 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 the light griselda so if you want to like uh you know like access to the mass invasion you can see right over here on the bottom the first item the raid icon okay it says the mass invasion if you click on it it's right over there if you want to uh like uh access from the map you just need to look for that like you know the red skull okay right over here see right over here this red skull uh torch okay and from there you can also uh access to this thing okay and then right over here let's try to uh do it okay for like one time and then i'm gonna go into the character analysis this light Griselda is a support unit and she is one of the best four star nat support unit okay she has some dot skills and she has some pretty incredible uh support skills okay and <laughs> if you are uh like you know like uh, aspiring uh beginner then maybe like she can actually be a very good support for your team as she is a light unit okay a light servant you will be getting about like 55 shards of her if you actually uh, like sum it up you can get 55 shards you will need 50 shards in order to summon her all right so you will have excess of five shards so now going into the collection and then we can see right over here that the light griselda has very pretty awesome skills all right looking at the first skill it increases the glancing hit right and that is too good because glancing it is like one of the like op thing in this game uh if you uh, can induce the glancing it like you can uh, decrease the chance of being critical hit and then uh you know like you ignore the ignore defense <laughs> like those kind of specs okay all right and then like you are immune to def uh, debuffs okay so that is so good 70% chance of dealing uh, light damage over time for 15 seconds by level 4. That is so good. Light damage, uh, I mean like light dot, that is so good. Alright. And the second skill, Valkyrza. Okay. What it does is that like increases the defense of all allies for 60 seconds by level 3. That is pretty good. And, and damn oh damn. Just look at the another skill. Removes one debuff from allies under attack. Okay. So that is too good. That is so good. Okay. I mean like uh, cleansing. Okay. That's a really good cleanse for a support unit. And finally, the combo skill grants immunity to all allies for 15 seconds. That is so awesome. All right. Granting immunity to all allies. That is so good because like during immunity, yes, you are immune to the debuffs and this can prove to be a really good thing. Okay. And 70% chance of decreasing the enemy defense for 30 seconds by level 3. Good. Okay. Multi hit one. And finally, when it comes to passive skill, it the active skills have the 50% chance to grant immunity to the tank class for 15 seconds. Okay. So yes, your tank is gonna be more resistive. More in they will have more endurance. All right. With this immunity thing going on right over there. Active skill refers to the first skill and the second skill only, not the combo skill. All right. And the next one is the team passive. Speed of all elemental eyes increases by 26% at dungeon. All right. So this is so good. Okay. Uh, speed stat boosting team passive. I mean like as a beginner, this can actually prove to be of a very big wonder. All right. And this is very, 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 very 
very rare all right <laughs> having like you know like the speed boosting team passive that is so good i would really love to have it uh because like uh if, you know like previously i would uh when i was a beginner i would be i would have been using like you know dr uncle hunt because he has like only 50 percent 15 percent of the speed uh, boosting capability but whereas for the griselda he has about like 20 percent of the speed boosting capability that is so cool that is so cool all right so that's how it is guys and go into the mass invasion and just keep on beating her up and then yes uh, she will drop her shards and a total of 55 shards and you will be done with her in no time and that would be too good especially if you are a beginner and yes the another way to actually use her very very nicely is you can actually use her in the fusion all right use her in the fusion if you don't really need her use her in the fusion make her the main material and then make a five star nat servant elemental like you know rbg right red blue green or let's say the forest the water and the fire okay those servants as the uh, you know like supportive materials and then you will have a right like like a good chance uh, to have a light um, you know five star nat servant okay <laughs> i mean like you can check out my other videos uh on how i have done the you know like the fusion summoning and then it really rocks guys it is so good i think uh, out of like 10 or 12 i got about like three light and dark five star nat servants so that is pretty good rate for me <laughs> even though like uh most of the people claim that like uh my rate was really too high but anyways i would really love to have any sort of you know uh chance to get or lay my hands on a five star nat light and dark servant especially if it actually comes out to be a light a ignis i mean like light ignis yeah light ignis then that would be so cool so anyways this is it for today guys i hope you enjoyed this video please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button to keep on enjoying the contents of my channel and guys this is the time that you should be leaving your views and opinions in the comment section below. And guys, please do consider donating to this channel to help me improve the contents. Alright, see you guys in the next video.